Hi guys, it's Matt here from pilotpracticeexams.com. I've got a brilliant video here, here for you with uh, a ten, my 10 best tips for you to get through your pilot exams, whether it's RALs, RPL, PPL, CPL. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, first of all, why do you want to watch this? Well, the big reason is this. Um, over the last three years, a very concerning 43% of people fail. Only 57% of people pass their CASA exams their RPL, uh, PPL exams, CPL is slightly different, RALs we don't have the numbers for, but we know it's not fantastic. So why do you want to listen to me? Well, basically our pass rate is 99%. And if you do some of these things in this video, then your pass rate is, uh, chances of a pass is going to massively increase. So let's get into it and have a quick look. So secret number one is the major problem, okay, uh, is um, that you need to be aware of is a low exam pass rate also sets you up for a flight test problem okay it's going to ruin the preparation for your flight test because you're going to be focused on having to fix up your uh, kdrs your knowledge deficiencies instead of preparing for your flight test so it has a compounding effect in that low exam scores also affect your flight test so you don't want to go there so that's secret number one okay secret number two book your exam early Okay, the early exams are easy to book if you're booking them a long way out, but they're very hard to book close to the date and they're easy to cancel. So you've got nothing to lose by booking it. If you book it and you're not ready, you should be able to reschedule an extra week or a few days or whatever, something like that. You might be able to do a swap with someone. But if you're exam ready and you, you feel like you want to, you know, you've got a good opportunity, you've got three or four days off work and you suddenly want to do it, it's going to be very hard to get a time slot um, very close to the date. So book it early. And that way that's going to force you to study and it's going to allow you to prioritise. For a month leading up to a big exam like your PPL, you're just going to have to prioritise. You're going to have to say no to things, okay? So And the other thing is you can watch your scores progressing in your knowledge build. Okay, so secret number three, use proven techniques. On my How to Study page, I have a whole bunch of videos to help you with proven techniques these aren't things i've made up okay this is research over years and years and years i was a teacher i studied this at uni i lived and breathed this for 12 years pedagogy and getting the most out of every student whether they are a low achiever or a high achiever okay so use these proven techniques that i have for you we know they work because of our pass rates we're getting so use the practice exams they are the number one or number two study method no matter which research you look at Every single time someone does a big uh, amount of research on the best study methods, practice exams come out either number one or number two. Okay, The other one that comes out is distribution. Use the memory techniques, use the study techniques. When you combine those three, you have a super powerful way to study. Secret number four, improve your study efficiency. Okay, You'll notice I've got lots and lots of tips about doing things faster. That's because, it's not because I want you to rush things, it's because I want you to maximise the uh, effectiveness of the time you spend studying. So here's a few, and you'll pick up a lot more as you go through my content, okay? Record all your results, your study techniques and your problem topics in an exercise book. That's going to allow you to quickly, when you get that same question wrong next time, to quickly look and see, oh, okay, I've got that wrong, and it's on page 48 in a textbook. Boom. You just save minutes because you're going to keep repeating the same mistakes okay focus on your problem topics first this is why i get you to do practice exams before you study the most efficient way for us to work out what you need to study is to test you and see where your problems are even when you're first beginning okay because some things you're going to know um, and some things you're not and some things are easy and some things aren't so we want to find your problems and then get you to focus your problems that leads into the third one, which is hunt for answers, okay? Reading is not effective. Hunting for answers is. So if you do a practice exam, you find your problems, and then you go hunting in the textbook, that engages the brain, it's time efficient, and it's, and it's forced memorization, okay? Any videos you're watching, always use the gear icon if they're on YouTube and put them in 1.5 or 2 times speed. Get used to watching everything at 1.5 or 2 times speed. That's going to slash your um, video time in half or at least by um, 
you know, the, the 25, 33%, whatever setting you pick. Use the memory tactics to drive it in your memory. There's no use studying and using ineffective uh, tactics because then what's going to happen is you've just wasted your time. So watch the how to study videos and when you do study, study properly. Okay. Secret number five. Okay, exam tactics. There are tactics you can use in the exam, and I'll touch on some to do with the questions later. But first of all, let's look at big overall uh, ones. You know, don't get stuck on a question. If you're finding a question is taking you a long time, stop, make a quick note with your pencil or whatever about you know what you think, and move on. And, and even if you've got to leave it blank, we don't want to leave it blank, but let's leave it blank to the end and come back and review it at the last minute. Okay. Um, one that I didn't touch on there is don't leave any blank before you press submit or before the uh, exam finishes. So if, if you've got two minutes to the end and there's five questions you leave, you've left blank, quickly race back and just guess. Because if you guess five, one of them you might get right. If you leave them blank, then you've got five wrong. Okay. The other thing is don't let questions upset you. Okay. This is one of the beauties of using the practice exams. You can get used to having crap questions ambiguous questions and initially what I see is a lot of lamies and uh, architects and computer programs and lawyers and uh, analytical type people that come in and suddenly they get the shits when they see a question that they don't like okay perfect that's what we want we want you to experience that during a practice exam not in the real thing so do practice exams and get used to seeing crap questions and not being thrown by them you want to get to the point where you just go ah oh, there's another crap question Okay, I'll try and pick my best. That looks like my best. Done. Okay, you don't want to get upset. You will get crappy questions. Don't let them rattle you. Okay, and practice, practice, practice until you're at the point where you can happily see a crap question and just go, ah, oh, yeah, there's another one. Okay, keep progressing and mark items for review or make notes about them. Okay, I already touched on that. Don't get stuck on a question. Review. Okay, but be aware your first instinct is generally right. So in other words, let's say you finish 20 minutes before the end. Don't get up and leave. Go back and review, use that time to review your questions. But be careful. Okay, usually, and I'm not saying always, but usually your first instinct is more correct than a guess later on. If you look at it and go, oh, no, that's definitely wrong, then yeah, sure, change it. But if you look at it and go, oh, I'm not sure it could be that one, then possibly trust your first instinct. And again, that's something you can experience and try and practice using practice exams to see whether your first instincts are normally right or normally wrong. Secret number six, charts. You are going to get charts. You are going to get loading charts. You are going to get performance charts. You are going to have Alpha, Bravo, Charlie for RPL and PPL. You're going to have takeoff and landing performance charts. You're going to have to do gaffs, tafts, and grid point wind temperature charts. So know them. There is no way of getting through these exams for RPL, PPL, and CPL without knowing those. And CPL, you must know echo inside out and back to front. And you also, guys, must know your 1 in 60 stuff, okay, um, for the NAVs. Up, that's not RPL, but everyone else. Lots and lots of uh, 1 in 60 uh, stuff, calculations and things on charts. Okay, secret number eight, eliminate. Now, with questions, we always have a ro an obvious wrong answer, okay? Some are more obvious than others, but there's always an obvious wrong answer. So first thing you should do is pick your obvious wrong answer and go, it's not that one. That straight away lets you narrow it down to three. Generally, there's another one that's reasonably wrong. If that stands out, at you eliminate that and then work out out of the other two so that you've got a 50-50 chance of getting that correct, uh, question correct. Even when you think you know it, use this technique because often we can misread the question. Now that brings me to another thing. I should have a secret number 11. Read the question carefully. CASA is notorious for trick questions, for double negatives, for uh, wording things so that you get it wrong if you don't read carefully. There's a reason, there's a good reason for that. It sounds terrible. You think, ah, oh, they're bastards for doing it or whatever. But the good reason for that is. We don't want you misreading things and crashing aeroplanes, okay? So if you've got to read things properly to get you through your exam, even though it annoys you, it's probably a good thing, okay? Secret number nine, the exam day deficit. What that means is 
exam day because you are nervous, you're facing questions that you haven't seen before, you're doing it in a different program, you've got the examiner standing there looking at you, all these things, you will score lower. Okay, you will generally nearly always score lower by around about five to ten percent. Okay, so you want to allow for that. In other words, if you're if the pass mark is seventy percent, and be aware, some are eighty, some are seventy. If the pass mark is seventy percent, you want to be scoring way more than eighty percent in your practice exams. If the pass mark's eighty percent, you want to be scoring way more than ninety in your practice exams. Okay, if you're not, chances are with your exam day deficit, you won't get through. Okay, so make sure you have a buffer. Make sure you're doing the practice exams and that you're getting marks high enough for that deficit to still pass. Secret number 10, use this site. Okay, even if you're not a member, there is this site is littered with good information. It's littered with the legislation that you need, the CAOs, the CASRs. It tells you where they are. It's got the syllabus. It's got uh, tips. It's got tricks. It's got tactics. It's got feedback. Um, it's got all the how to study stuff, the final prep exams, okay, um, which are very close to the real things, not the exact wording, but the exact content, okay, and then the final study, which guides you through what CASA tells us is in the exams. So use, 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 use this site, okay. I've gone out there and they literally, you know, got thousands of pages of content from hundreds of different documents that you have to normally know and find and sometimes don't even know exist and I've pulled them into one website okay so explore the website watch the how to use this website videos so, which show you where all the stuff is um, they're on the home page now and use this site to your advantage to get through so I wish you luck I'd love to have you on board if you do want to join head up to the join now button and look at the options that are available and the pricing for the various licenses but even if you don't join please use this site to maximum advantage because it will dramatically help you get through your pilot exam so good luck guys and thanks for watching